Hello and welcome to Brawl Duel. This time we have another Tamriel Online update for you. The last time we covered this we saw it come a long way. Stability was improved, a ton of bugs were squashed and you could even run around and do quests together. The main thing missing was NPC synchronisation and now with version 2.1 that's done too, sort of. NPC synchronisation means that everyone connected to the server will effectively share the same NPCs. So for example if two or more people were to take a stroll down Riverwood they should see the same NPCs exhibiting the same behaviour across both games. And as you can see in the screen by screen footage, it now works. We both saw the dead cultists, then ran past the chicken and into Feindel, then finally bumped into the children and the dog. All of them were in the same location and roughly acting in the same way. Being able to see and react to the same events makes it feel like you're actually sharing one huge game world, rather than practically seeing a mirror copy of other players like in previous versions of the mod. As we covered in the last video, you can now synchronise questing. So as someone begins a quest, it'll be accepted for everyone else on the server. However, the lack of synced NPCs made collecting the quests and the rewards at the end of it feel very disconnected, especially if the NPC was in different areas for each player. But now that's no longer an issue and questing is much more seamless. The quest giver will always be in the same location for all players, which is much more realistic and it feels more connected. However, despite that, NPC synchronisation and combat isn't quite as playable just yet. This is mostly due to the lack of optimization, so we're hopeful that it'll get better over time just like everything else. Basically, the NPCs are synced and it'll show things like the death animations and even NPCs getting into a fight with other players. However, the lag between actions is much higher than normal because there's so many things going on at once. Everyone sprinting around, constantly swinging their weapons, taking damage and more puts a huge strain on the server, and the synchronisation features struggle to keep up. We tested this on both LAN and on a hosted server hundreds of miles away, and there wasn't much difference between the two. The way hosting currently works is that the first person to connect to the server becomes the host. Then everyone else is synced to that person's game as long as both players are close by, otherwise the next best host will be selected. In the next update, the author plans to add the ability to select a permanent host, which should improve stability and performance in some cases. In terms of other new features, we mostly just noticed several smaller changes. For example, the game will now pause when you enter menus. Some console commands will now also work and you can spawn things in for others to use or see, like new pieces of gear. We also noticed that everything in general was just more smooth than before and it seems like the mod gets more and more stable with the updates, despite the addition of new features. Every time we try out a new version, we find ourselves needing to reconnect or restart the server less often. In fact, we only crashed a couple of times in a few hours of playing, which is a big improvement over earlier versions. So all in all, the latest update adds the foundation and several building blocks for NPC synchronisation. It's not fully there just yet, but this is a promising amount of progress towards a playable version. If you're interested in giving it a go, then there's a full detailed setup instructions on the Tamriel Online subreddit, which we'll link down below, along with everything else you'll need. Rest assured for any Ordinator fans out there, our next video is definitely for the Warrior Trees, and it should go up within a couple of days. But just before we wrap up, we'd like to thank WeMesh for sponsoring this episode. All this talk of synchronisation makes it easy to explain what WeMesh is. If you've ever wanted to share and watch videos with friends in perfect sync on your mobile devices, then WeMesh is the app for you. You can even chat via voice or text while watching too, even if you're thousands of miles apart. It's perfectly synced. If you're interested, you can find a link down below. And as always, thanks for watching.